This is John Paul Wright coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Some people call me. Today, talking about Avatar 2. Yes, on this channel. Not the subject I usually talk about, but in light of Dark Fate and recent events with Tim Miller and James Cameron, I wanted to talk about Avatar 2. So, basically, I'm in the boat of really, really disliking Dark Fate, the plotline choices, especially with John Connor getting killed in the beginning, and especially with Tim Miller and James Cameron and whoever else not having a problem with that. So this, to me, was kind of like a Last Jedi type thing. Even the backlash wasn't as big because it's not Star Wars, but there was a pretty big backlash, all right? And a lot of people lost respect for James Cameron. Now, I think I'm one of them. Here's the thing. His old movies, T1, T2, Avatar 1, yeah, I guess, you know, that was the old James Cameron from, I think, at least over 10 years ago in each one now. Well, obviously 10 years ago or more on the Terminator movies, but Avatar 1 was like 2009 or something, and okay, maybe I'll watch those at some point. But Avatar 2? I don't know. I don't think I want to support this guy. I think it's real easy for me to skip it. Let's take a quick look at it. You know, just some details. We're getting closer to Avatar 2 actually being released. I like it. It's a cool franchise. I would have normally seen it. It's a season of magic, a time for us to get the barest hint that a creature of myth and legend might finally be on the way to town. No, I'm not talking about Santa. I'm talking about James Cameron's long-promised sequel to Avatar. Director James Cameron's been trying to get a sequel to the former highest grossing film of all time. It lost the crown to Avengers Endgame this year off the ground for a very long time, but I guess it took him a while to find the right amount of... What is that word? Unobtainium. The sequels to the extremely profitable, but let's be honest, kind of forgettable movie have been pushed back for years. Okay, so that's the history. You know, it hasn't been made, it's coming out soon, it's been made, well not soon, but it's finished. The movie is actually finished. So, you know, he also has plans to make multiple sequels, they're going to say, and what they also say is there's a lot of like really cool underwater scenes and new technology and things that do actually get me curious to see the movie. So, in actuality it looks good and under normal circumstances it looks good, but I'm going to have to say I just don't feel right seeing something by James Cameron. And now here's the thing. I'm not going to go crazy and boycott it and hate on it. That's just not going to work. It's not going to mean so much. But I'm not going to see it. I don't think I'm going to make another video on it. I don't want to give it too much attention. I can't promise no other video. But I'm going to just try to stay away from this thing. And I'm going to have to try to stay away from James Cameron because I still cannot forgive what happened to John Connor. I don't think it's fixable. Even if they fix it in the story of the Terminator, I still see their intentions, what they wanted to do. I mean, Cameron's not a spring chicken. If he's going to be working on Avatar, he's not going to go back and fix Terminator. Tim Miller's gone. So that pretty much just happened. You know, it's just out there. So Avatar 2... I know, this is one of those videos, people... Another one of these videos, people are going to be disliking. Oh, you're a hater, you suck, so what? Terminator. But I just want to see my old franchises respected. That's one of the reasons I'm here. So you guys let me know down below, especially if you found me through my Dark Fate videos. What do you think of Avatar 2? You going to support it? You excited to see another James Cameron movie after you know what he did? I'm not. Yep. All right. Shout out time. Shout out to MacGyver. I think that's how you say it. Thank you very much for the support. I'm not subscribed, but I don't think you have a channel, so let me know. Doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you haven't, click that subscribe button, smash it, press it. I screw up the end of the videos. I say things too fast at the end because it's like almost midnight here and I wake up at 5.45. Yeah, you get it. See you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.